Good evening from Manila, the Philippines. This is the FIBA Basketball World Cup, and it's the battle for fifth place between Latvia and Lithuania. Well, as derbies go, as rivalries go, this one is a nice one. This is the Baltic battle. And uh, we're bringing you the action live here from Manila in the Mall of Asia. I'm Jeff Taylor, joined by Mike Taylor. Perhaps, Mike, uh, Baltic brothers, when the games are not being played, but when the games are being played, these are two adversaries that are really going to get after each other. Yes, Lithuania and Latvia have had outstanding tournaments here at the World Cup in Manila, both knocking off opponents, memorable wins, and now they're battling for the fifth place position in the fifth and sixth classification game. Again, the bigger tradition from Lithuania over many years, but not to be outdone. This Latvian team has captured the imagination of a lot of basketball fans with their outstanding team play and teamwork. We've got a great matchup on our hands tonight here at the Ball of Asia Arena. Well, unfortunately for Lithuania, there's no Benjis tonight. Imantas Benjis out still, and also no Karanauskas, who isn't feeling well and had to stay back at the hotel. So uh, that's a blow not to have Vitas uh, Karanauskas as well. But no doubt they will give everything they've got against a Latvia team that, quite frankly, I think has been uh, the surprise story of this FIBA Basketball World Cup. Coming coming within a made three-pointer at the death and the very last seconds of beating Germany and advancing to the semifinals. Yeah, Luka Banki has done a fantastic job with his team, but they the pieces really fit together. They complement each other. We've seen outstanding production. Davis Bertans has been a tremendous three-point shooter. Andre Grajulis has been a finisher when teams choose to switch. And then Arturs Jagars, what an outstanding point guard he's been for this Latvian team. They play really intelligent and they play really well together. The contrasting style with the size and physicality of Lithuania, you've got Valanchonis in the middle, the big fella. Will they switch screens? How will they handle the real coverage? How will Latvia guard Valanchonis on one end? But then how will Lithuania match up with the perimeter three-point shooting from all five spots will that be a really interesting matchup here tonight well Luka Banki is ready for one more clash here at the FIBA Basketball World Cup and it's a real sweet one we just uh, played in front of the I think what was a capacity crowd 11,000 people uh, watching Luka Doncic and Slovenia win against Italy uh, so that was 89-85 in the very last game of Gigi Dottomi, uh, the longtime Italian national team star, somebody that Coach Pozzecco called a legend in the press conference. And now it's Latvia taking on Lithuania in the battle of the Baltics. So we're going to have a pause right now for the playing of the national Ladies anthems. Ladies and gentlemen, we now invite you to stand for the national anthem. We begin with the anthem of Lithuania.
please remain standing for the national anthem of Latvia. Well, in the words of Mike Taylor, who always tells his team before games, let's get it on! <laughs> That's what I say in the locker room. That's one of the many motivational uh, exhortations of Mike Taylor <laughs> before games. And that's what, he, that's what we say to these guys as well. Manuel Mazzoni from Italy, the crew chief Blanca Burns from the USA on the left, and Johnny Batista from Puerto Rico on the right. And what is a FIBA Basketball World Cup 2023 game without Jip, I wonder? It just wouldn't be the same. So there he is. Bah! The flags of Lithuania and Latvia. How does he do that? He can paint. He can show emoticon, um, emojis. He can, gosh, I don't know. He can disappear. We haven't seen him pull any rabbits out of the hat. Lithuania, their big win came against the United States, obviously. Then they fell in the quarterfinals to Serbia, but they won last time out. Tata Sadikerskis, Ignis Brasdekis, Rokas Jokovaitis, Jonas Valanciunas, Tomas Dimcha, Normantas, Maldunas, Kuzminskis, Motiunas, Benjis, Karanauskas, and Servidis also on the roster. And of course, no Karanauskas and no Benjis tonight. Benjis did line up for the national anthem. And Jonas Valanciunas, take it away, Mike great leader we love what he represents for this national team and he'll be at the center of the interesting matchup they'll try to exploit his physical presence inside but on the other side latvia will try to take advantage of his real pick and roll coverage to open up three point shots and uh, rokas jokovitis he's been outstanding playing the point for this lithuanian team you see his numbers 12 points six assists fantastic job pushing the pace getting into the paint. You love his toughness. He's been in top form. Because East Max Vitas uh, has done a lot of great work with this Lithuanian national team the last couple of summers. Yeah, and his his work, his game plans, Kaj and his staff have done a fantastic job here. I've been very impressed with their adjustments. You know, and we'll see how the game plays out today. This is a really interesting matchup with contrasting styles. Both of these teams obviously will be at the FIBA Olympic qualifying tournaments next year and They'll have European qualifiers coming up for the next Eurobasket. Rodion's Kuruks, Roland Schmitz, Klaus Schabars, Arturs Kuruks, and Arturs Jagars in the starting five. Uh, well, Davis Bertans is going to play. His brother Darius will not. Strout, Scaly, Gradualis, Pasetsniks also out there. And uh, Christer Zordix. What can you say about? The Emperor, Andres Gradulis. I am so impressed with Gradulis' game. When teams say we want to cover the three-point shots by switching screens, he has made opponents pay, finishing plays at the rim at a high rate. He's done it all, hit threes, make plays, impressive. And what about this 23-year-old guard, Arturs Jagars, who wasn't signed yet coming into the World Cup? He's been so efficient. He's been in the paint, hit shots, finish plays, again, Luka Banki has this team well prepared. The pieces fit together. It's been really fun to watch these guys play throughout this entire World Cup tournament. 
And there has really been a buzz about these classification games for different reasons, as we mentioned. Uh, you know, when Latvia play, when Lithuania play, they're always well represented by their traveling fans. When Luka Doncic plays, everybody fills into the arena, and now you got the combination of the Latvian fans and Lithuanian fans. It's going to be fun. Fantastic environment. He did cheat. Roland can also step back, huh? Okay? If he attack, is to stress the defense, open the catch. If they deny, you have the DHO as a safety, and the second creator just in case. Secure the ball, use the screen, go into the Spanish, play active. Well, Chip just can't stay out of the spotlight. Spinning the cube, the time cube. Wait, not so fast. And uh, so 50 seconds before the start, and we will be off. I think this is going to be a, a fitting conclusion for both of these teams at the FIBA Basketball World Cup, a battle against uh, their Baltic brothers. Yeah, both teams have had a great experience here in the World Cup and now writing their final chapter here at the Ball of Asia Arena in Manila. Great moment for these players, these teams to finish off a wonderful summer together in the game. I wonder what Ignis Brasdakis has to do tonight to get some Mo cookies as well, his reward. Well, Jeff, according to our research, Lithuania has to win. Hey, hey, no, no, don't break, don't break. The Mo's motivation for Iggy, Lithuania has to win, and he's got to dunk over Schmitz. Wow, that's quite a tall order. Next level motivation from the Lithuania staff, Bose Cookies. We're underway in the Mall of Asia Arena, the Baltic battle for fifth place at the FIBA Basketball World Cup. And Lithuania wearing the white, going up against Latvia in the garnet red, and it's Lithuania striking first. Jakobite is pressuring the rim, and Valanciun is cleaning it up. Latvia will struggle to match the physicality at the rim from the big fella, Jonas Valanciunas. Well, Lithuania know Jagar as well because he's been playing professionally in the country. Here's Schmitz coming out, stroking the three. And again, Valanciunas inside for two. They run a Spain pick and roll with a big. How does Lithuania counter and guard the three-point line? That's the interesting game plan from their side. Ball stolen away, and foul on Jokovitis. Chavar's pretty big body in there guarding uh, Valanchunas. Good ball pressure led to the bad decision. There was no real post feed angle. Okay, so they're going to review it to see if this is an unsportsmanlike foul. Let's listen to, no, or are they? Okay, yes they are. We'll listen to the refs as they look at that foul. Challenge request, possible upgrade for the sportsmanlike foul. So. Here we have, can we go main camera full speed? So, anyway, if the contact is from lateral, this is, I would like to have, you know, full picture. So this is last player, yes. because nobody's done. So we need to check if the contact is on the side, because if it's on the side, it meets the criteria for the sponsor like foul. Right. Go, play, so the contact is on the side, correct? So because there is no idea any other player in front, but on the path, there is nobody, so 
so this is open path, uh, criteria four, but this is on, it's not on the path. Okay, yeah. So we need to upgrade the foul, a sportsman like foul. 33, a sportsman like foul, we got two free throws for number play on, because it's play on. Play. 47, 47 as sportsman like foul, two free throws, and number 33, Perfect. okay? After the review, we upgrade the foul from normal foul to a sportsman like foul. The challenge is success. So that was indeed a head coach's challenge, and they have upgraded it. So there will no longer be a challenge for Latvia. But at least it paid off to get the unsportsmanlike foul on Demsha. And because the unsportsmanlike foul happened so early in the game, we don't know what situations will present themselves later in the game. Now he's got one unsportsmanlike foul. If there's a second one, he's gone. That's right. I think if it pays off with the success on whether or not it's unsportsmanlike, yeah, it's, probably it's, it's worth it, isn't it's it? It's worth it for sure. You know, on the other hand, if they rule it's not, then you've used your challenge so early in the game. I heard from uh, the referees that 95% of the challenges are about out-of-bounds calls. That's interesting. Yeah. Chavars puts it up. And that's going to stay at this end. So, Jeff, coming into this game, Lithuania has a significant rebounding advantage over Latvia. Let's see if that holds true in the matchup here. In terms of stats overall for the course of the tournament? Yes. How about that? Stroking it from deep. Number 47 for Latvia, Kuruks, the younger brother of Rodians Kuruks. Uh, the dump to Balanchunas. Great late delivery, drew two defenders. Balanchunas right to the rim. Again, we see how effective he is at the rim. Schmitz from deep, his second three-pointer of the game. And again, Lithuania with a hard show, pick and roll with a four, pick and pop. Latvia making their shots count early in the game. Demsha's pass batted away. Needed to be a bounce pass. Second tough decision for Demsha. Turnover. Rodion's Kuruks. You can count it. And Latvia have started like a house on fire. They lead it 14 to 4. So again, Latvia is a tough matchup with the shooting from three at five spots. Valentunas ran to the paint. Demsha. And remember, Lithuania without two important players, Karanauskas and Benches. So to Karaskas, takes his time, misses the shot, and there is Valanchunas. He's just a force inside, cleaning up the boards. Jagars with the bounce pass to Chavars! Attacking Valanchunas in between in pick and roll coverage. Oh boy, you heard that over here. Kuruks fouling Bingius. Coach Kazmax Vita is talking with Dimsha as he subs out. Usually a high percentage decision maker. Has forced a couple passes in the early going. Grezdikas sinks his first. I think you'll look to see Lithuania switch one through four pick and roll coverage and have regular coverages only with Balachunas at the five. Oh, good job, Kuruks knocking it away. 
Little plays like that, Lobby have been excelling at. There's the pass. Good defense from Valanciunas there. Jokobaitis takes the bump. You can count that. And again, Lithuania can raise their physicality to another level. We see Jokobaitis pressuring the rim, driving so strong into the paint. Kuritz with a contact. And this is something we've seen Jokobaitis do so well, finish those drives in the lane. Kuritz, one of the outstanding players for Lithuania. At this FIBA Basketball World Cup, he does not complete the three-point play. Here's Jagar is getting it down low. And Brazdekas with the rebound and run up to Normantas. And there's Valachunas again with the putback. Every single time Valachunas scores a bucket, he looks at the referee to say he's getting hit. Yeah, and he's got a similar game like Doncic where every time he's making a play, it's so physical, he's seeking out the contact and still finishing. But Jeff, the last couple of pick and roll possessions, Valanciunas has really impacted the game. You can see Latvia putting him in multiple pick and roll defensive situations. And here he's turning the matchup to his advantage on the offensive glass and finishing. Klaus Chavars has gone out. And replacing him is Anjes Paseczniks. Kuruks again! Boy, he's really come out firing in this game. And that leads to a timeout. Jeff, you can see a great flare screen set there by Pacheczniks. And they bury three-point opportunities. Five of five in the game. Lithuania right now on the back foot. Well, Arthur Kuruks has come out tonight and scored eight points already. Already above his average of 5.6 points per game. He did have nine in the last game, the classification game against Italy. He had 12 in that crucial win over Brazil. The cru sorry, the crucial game against Brazil. So he shot the three-point shot very well coming in 10 of 23. So here is Brasdakis missing and Chagars carries it up the floor. Here he is again. He's feeling it. And that was a heat check for Kuruks. Good rim protection. But the Eunice comes in. Well, he was just kind of standing there. He used his height, Pesetniks. And Jeff, we've seen Monte Yunus really be an impact. Valanciunas goes to the bench with eight points and four rebounds. He cleaned up well on the offensive side, but Latvia attacked the coverage on the defensive side. And Monte Yunus subs in and immediately gets a defensive rebound and now gets to the free throw line. It's just a great atmosphere. Monte Yunus goes to the line, hearing cheers of Latvia. Latvia, one of four for Lithuania. 
For whatever reason, they're not making their free throws here at the start of the game. Ooh. And that's a totally different Lithuania look that we've seen from their nine for nine three point makes or great free throw shooting. So early in the game, five and a half minutes in. Kuruk for three, it's his third of the game. So Lithuania plays hard show pick and roll coverage. Jagars with a great diagonal skip pass. Kuruk buries the three. Normantis, mid range. Well, against Brazil, Kuruk's had four threes, and against Italy in the last game, he had three. That was the alley oop. The possessors could throw it down. Oh, yes. How about Montiunas catching it and getting up ahead? Great pass fake in transition from Iggy Brasdakis. Look for the skip and then delivered to Montiunas for an easy two. Great play. Miskis also in the game. Schmitz from the baseline. Catch both to Yunus. He turns, he puts it up, and Bear times with the catch. He doesn't need, need to take any threes right now because Kuruks is the one making them all. Jagars drives in, and we'll get two free throws. Well, the two teams tonight, Lavia look like they're a step faster. Maybe a little hungrier. I don't know if you have well, that impression. I think they, they're they playing with great energy. And again, when you come into this game on paper, you think they're the underdogs. What do you think about that, Mike? The player pa pa player passes comparison with Jagars and Jokovitis. Well, two outstanding point guards. Jagars is playing more pick and roll and distributing for three-point shooting. We see he's fifth in the tournament. Jakobitis will finish and pressure the rim with drives a little bit more, but both of these point guards are leading their teams and playing really intelligent basketball. Is this the tournament that the world now knows or that everybody knows, Jagars? Well, of course. Perhaps was flying under the radar a little bit? Yeah, he's been flying under the radar, and his coming out party has been this outstanding performance in the World Cup. Servetus getting into the games earlier. And Lithuania's got to get a better shot than that. That three was no good. Chagars was the hero against France. He hit five three-pointers. Oh, excuse me, three in that game. Here is the rebound by Chagars. He looks up the floor to Pasechnik. Great catch and great effort by Bertans to catch it, stay in bounds, and keep possession. It's a good idea from Skelly to try to attack the hard show pick and roll coverage and hit the diver. Coach Maxvides imploring his team for better execution and better shots at this end, down by 11. Jokovitis, the mid ranger, and Lithuania's fans celebrate a little. Lithuania's still on the back foot right now, down by nine. Oh, great effort. Good D in the end. Real three. Jokovitis from the right. That's good. And Jeff, when you run the floor in transition, if you can change sides of the floor, many times it's a two on one. Really good spacing from Lithuania. Consecutive pass from Sidervis. 
three, Jakobitis in the corner. Great transition, big shot for Lithuania. We cannot beat the pressure without any pass. Come on, come on. One ball to give, guys. One ball to give. We go through multiple action. Okay. This offense is anxious. PNC. Lay, lay up, lay up, lay up. We have the ball. Okay. The brush. The back door and the side to side action. Watch out the pressure, please. One ball to be. So contested three-pointers uh, made for Latvia, ranked number one overall, Lithuania fourth overall. As expected, two outstanding shooting teams. But this goes to show you that you can get a hand in Latvia's face and they will still knock it down. They started the game five for five, sticking to that form. Troutinch missing. And there is Schele keeping it at this end. And now Zorix has it He's checked in. Zorix with the lob to Gradulus. And then he is blocked by Mendogas Kuzmenskis. Normantis speed set. Oh, excellent work. Getting rid of it before the travel. Yeah, both. Latvian players went down as Monte Yunus contested for the ball. I think that foul is kind of a makeup for the last play. Look at the block. We didn't see Gradualis have too much trouble with anybody against Italy. But Jeff, right now, the rim protection for Lithuania, the size of the paint, 14 to 2 points in the paint for Lithuania. Latvia trying to follow Coach Bonke's instructions and get layups. But the size, not only of Valanciunas, but the wings, that could be a challenge for this Latvian squad. Now you see Lithuania switching screens. Oh, look at Skele putting the pressure on. That was a kick by Maldunas with 2.5 seconds left. So there'll be 6.1 seconds on the game clock. Scala gets it to Gradulus. He's got to go. Gradulus holding it. And he goes for the runner. And the Emperor gets, oh, they're not going to count it. I thought he got off in time, but I guess not. Kristaps Porzingis still here with the team. Look at this. So Gradualis, yeah, that's that's good. So they do count it, and Latvia lead it 28 to 20 over Lithuania at the end of one. Both teams nine of 18 from the field. 50% and a big difference, three-point shooting, six of nine for Latvia, one of four for Lithuania. Lithuania started game so hot in the tournament. Rebounding-wise, 11-10 for Lithuania, and Lithuania only one of five from the free throw line, Jeff. Lithuania's advantage in the first half has been points in the paint at 14-2. Yeah, Lithuania on the back foot seemed to be coming back into it. Yeah, when you have the advantage of the traditional five, Valanciunas, the question is, how are you playing pick and roll coverage where you're not opening up the three-point line? Valanciunas wants to stay in that drop, and that's going to give Latvia some opportunities to create three-point looks. Well, 
if you are interested, I'm going to tell you what you have to have. You've got to have Courtside 1891 in your smartphone. Uh, scan in that barcode, and you can get it. 1891 app for the latest news, scores, videos, games, much more from the world of international basketball. And Jeff, it's interesting that Lithuania has Normantis guarding the bigger Davis Bertans. Here he comes off the stagger double. They switch it. There's Bertans. Ooh, almost. Jokovitis gets in so off the glass. Jeff, this is a ghost screen where Kuzminskis clears out and opens up the driving lane for Jokovitis. Great play to start the quarter from Coach Kazmaxinidis. Scaly drives Dragulis. He just doesn't miss from that range, does he? Yeah, he's got very good touch, very good feeling. Nice delivery from Scaly. Everybody's back to Kuzminskis. Romantis now. Quiet start for him. Skele, they switch. Now to Kuzminskis. Good help from Gradulus. And now Bertans goes in for the dunk. And that's too easy for Lithuania. They've got to get back and set their defense. Let, let's talk about one underrated thing from this Latvia defense. They are winning position in the paint. They're not letting Lithuania seal deep in the rim at the lane. Gradulus with the push on Monte Yunus. To see here, great team D. Gradulus challenging the shot. Well, he didn't make a, a sudden, immediate impact on his entry into the game, but it has been gradual for graduates. Meanwhile, Bertans, similarly, starting to heat up a bit. Here is good defense. And again, Kuzminskis has to create a better shot. This is not the most physical team you've played. Play strong. Strauthens. Oh, boy, he was strong, and he went right at Montiunas. And look at Kaziz Maxvitas. He can't hardly believe it. He gets back to 12. Jokovitis drifts in. Just a gifted player with that jumper. Yeah, and he got the defender on his back with his hostage dribble, snake the pick and roll, and has that touch in the paint. Outstanding. Oh, tough drive, and Servitas called for the foul. So, Gradulus will go to the line. Servetius so rotating over, trying to help. As you see the beautiful touch from Jakobitis. Jakobite is so skillful and crafty into that pull-up jump shot in the lane. Valanciunas returns to the game, and you can see Lithuania trying to rally themselves and make a run. There's so many wonderful stories in this Latvia team. Gradual is certainly one of them. Five points. We've talked about Jagars. Obviously, everyone knows Davis Bertans. Skele playing his best basketball with Latvia right now. He's out on the court. Here it is, Jokovitis again, and he's the one that's carrying Lithuania offensively. Wow. They ran some baseline screening action. Nothing was there. Middle pick and roll. 
And then in the end, Jakobaitis using his dribble to create. Bertans from deep. Good rebound from Valanciunas. Zorix fouls Jakobaitis. Pass to Servetus, a beautiful bounce pass. And Sedekariskas was able to score despite being uh, closely guarded at the rim. But I love the idea to put the ball in the post and play through Valanciunas. Doris hooks it long, another chance. Throw it into the big fella again. When the ball goes in the post to Valanciunas, Latvia must make a decision. They can't guard him one-on-one. -on -one. He can create an advantage every possession for Lithuania. There's Pranzekis again being guarded closely by Chavars, and it doesn't matter. Big Jonas buries it from deep. And Jeff, this is a great late delivery. They don't stop the ball in transition. Zagars gets into the paint and drops it off. Look at the late delivery and a good quick finish there. Chavars through the contact. Prasdekis missing. Scale, fouled by Servetus. Stravis. Off they get. Cooling off a little bit, but still working hard and getting the layup. So great work. And Arthur Strautnitz finishing at right over Valanciunas. Great teamwork and ball movement. You see the quality passing from this Latvian team. Jagar's aware, beautiful pass, and strong finish. So, Jeff, we've seen Lithuania just be on fire from beyond the arc against Greece, 7 for 7 in one stretch. Against the USA, 9 for 9 to start the game. They are 1 for 5 from beyond the arc. And in comparison, Latvia, 6 for 12. Two three zone for Latvia here out of the timeout.
Normatis missing, and Kuruks with the rebound. There on the baseline, and Shroudish nails it. And might be looking pretty formidable right now. Whistle blows and a foul. You have your game plan. We have our protocols, okay? We have to process the play until the end. I can understand your point. She got the play under referee scout to work, but for us, it's not risky. I know. I have from people like you. Look, we are not missing anything big, don't worry. This is the most important thing. So both free throws made. Dog horse hits. <laughs> oh my goodness. And he ends up getting a drawing a foul. So Normantas whistled for the foul that's Blanca Burns, one of the three women refereeing at this FIBA Basketball World Cup. The first time that's ever happened that uh, women have refereed, so that's a historical uh, occasion, I guess. And uh, Jagars misses the first. That was one of FIBA's strategic initiatives uh, to leverage, you know, to, to help women in terms of uh, getting more in refereeing, coaching, playing, really promoting the women's game. And uh, she has not looked out of place at all. Here is Bryce Dacus, as you would expect she would. Look at that. Nice finish. So strong, keeping the defender on his back, and then the ability to bank it in with touch. Outstanding. Jagars goes up and misses. Now chance for Normantas. Normantas puts it up from deep. Kuruks again. Schmitz fouled while attempting a three by Seda Kerskis. Look at this, Mike. More and more we see fouls called on the three-point shooters. Yeah, again, we saw the stat where Latvia is the number one team with three-pointers that were contested made. So Lithuania really reacting to the open looks in pick and pops and situations, scrambles. This time a little bit of overreaction and a foul with the body on set of Karaskas, who's been an outstanding defender. But Jeff, Smiths is 0 for 2. So that means the ball doesn't lie. <laughs> Wonder who ever came up with that. Have you ever seen someone miss three? Wow. And then the ball goes off of Lithuania and out of bounds. Yeah, and again, Jeff, we talked coming in, Lithuania has a rebounding advantage. Right now it's 17-16 for Lithuania, but Latvia is more than holding their own on the boards. That's contributed to their lead. Spain pick and roll action. 
Oh, beautiful finish. Chavar's soft touch. Nice setup from Jagars, who now has nine assists in the game. So the whistle blows this time in favor of Lithuania. Trouts goes out. Yokobitis at the Yokobitis at the line with 2:41 remaining. And uh, well, just shooting 50% as a team. There's Darius Bertans got injured during the tournament, not able to play here in the Mall of Asia in the knockout round. He would have helped their team tremendously as well. Skillful veteran guard can really shoot. Uh, good work, but the ball goes to Jokobitis. Valanchunas, feet set, takes a deep breath, but misses. One for eight in this first half. Jagars. And Lafayette get it back. And Jeff, it's just multiple efforts, 50-50 loose balls. Latvia is coming up with them more. There's the drive, and now again. Latvia with a chance to go back up by double digits. Feels like Lithuania just kind of dug a hole for themselves. They're just not making any progress. Well, they're not making any threes, and now they're just trying to bully their way to baskets. Wow. Nothing's coming easy for them. 11 point advantage for Latvia here in the last minute of the first half. Jokobaitis from deep. Jagars drives and another high percentage look. Schmitz. They just are outworking Lithuania. Demsha goes hard to the corner. Razdekis. And again, the three point shooting just one for 10 for Lithuania. And Jeff, that was an excellent look. Baseline drive, paint touch three, rhythm shot. This is their biggest lead of the game, and it can grow right at the end of the half. Jagars. Oh, and it doesn't. And a foul called on Latvia. And Latvia doesn't like the call, but... It's going to put Lithuania on the line. Yeah, Jeff, I mean, Latvia is playing with five players really aggressive. Look at the play here. You know, there's two guys competing for that ball. Valanchun is trying to own the paint. He's clearly bodied on that play. Latvia may not like to call, but obviously a little over the line aggressiveness there. I think there's quite, quite a few times that Valanchunas has been hit, for example, going up. This thing's even out over the course of the game. For sure. And that is it. So Lithuania 
able to close, get a little closer right at the end of the of the half. But Lavi on top, 49 to 38. Taking a look at the numbers, you can see small advantage in field goal percentage for Latvia. Big advantage in three-point shooting, six for 15, 40%, one for 10. That's the difference in the game with Lithuania. Free throw shooting's improving for Lithuania now up to seven for 11, which is actually better than Latvia, seven for 12. Latvia out-rebounding Lithuania 21 to 20, and early in the game, it was 14 to two points in the paint for Lithuania. Now it's only 24-20, Latvia evening things out. Bench points, Latvia 14 to four. Again, great half for Latvia. Lithuania's got to figure out how to contain Zagars. He's got 10 assists in the first half. That is the key player comparison and a little bit misleading probably. You don't think that he has the big impact, but as you said, the 10 assists for Zagars, Jokobaitis doing a lot of scoring. Jakobaitis has been the one consistent player. Valanciunas in the middle. Jakobaitis creating. Here again, really good teamwork in the paint. Grazulis has finished well. Again, Jakobaitis snaking, using his body. The good finish. Here's Jakobaitis, again, another great finish. Those 50-50 loose balls. That's one of those assists. And you know, Jagar's his high is 11 assists in the tournament. That was on opening night against Lebanon. Well, the issue- but this is against Lithuania. Yeah, and the issue right now is their pick and roll coverage he is he's used to seeing switches and having to really work hard to move the ball now with real regular pick and roll coverage the reads are simple and he can just make an easy pass but the lithuania guards have to do a better job of containing and directing him getting his drug ball, ball handling and penetration under control and that will allow them to stabilize their defense I think a frustrating first half for Coach Max Vitas as he expected a little bit more the game to come easier. 49-38, Latvia on top at halftime. Whatever our gender, color, belief, or capability, we are all on the same team. We have the power to change lives through basketball. Together, we are stronger. No matter your origin, basketball can bring everyone together. Basketball for good. Gets it to the corner. Franz Bacher gets in! 
A little bit of elevation. Line of Bogdanovich. Turn around. Quick shot. Takes it. Bogdanovich. Troika, Troika, Troika. Well, coach, it may be Troika time. He's made the three point up. Then going into the halftime break with a two point lead. Well, Dobro Jutro, Dobro Dan, Dobro Vecce. Oh, and what a shot from Paco Cruz. He was literally out of bounds and just has such a golden feel for the ball. Oh, Partido, what are you doing? And the alley oh! And by Caro this time does not lay it up. He scores right at the end of the third quarter. Buzzer. Yes! I'm sure you can have something better. No more, I will. Let it fly from wow! the Wow! He gets it before the half! Oh. Holy smokes, Jordan Zamora! Well, that's symbolic of the shooting we've seen from Venezuela this first half. From the three point line, 12 of 25 in the three quarter. Link bomb! Nothing but net! Way in the flush! That is unbelievable. These guys will be legends in their own country, but also in the international basketball world forever. Well, Rokas Jokobaitis has been scoring points for Lithuania all tournament long. He's got 15 tonight already at halftime for Lithuania. He's five of six inside the arc. He's hit a three-pointer, their only three-pointer of the night. And Jokobaitis also two of three at the free throw line. I don't think there's any doubt Jokobaitis is going to be having the ball in his hands a lot for this Lithuanian national team for years to come. And again, the 15 points, 6 of 8 from the floor, and you can see where he has scored his points, Mike. You love a point guard who can pressure the rim, who can get in the paint and score. Jokas Jokobaitis does that in a terrific way for this Lithuanian team. Well, Arturs Kuruks has also been outstanding. And uh, look at that, 11 points for him tonight, three of four from deep. And just one of the impressive guards for this Lithuania team. Yeah, he's been outstanding. You know, Latvia really, he's the, the guy that is driving their offense. Uh, they can't contain him right now. And he's been the playmaker that set everyone up. He's got 11, he's got 10 assists at halftime. Um, so this is the big challenge for Lithuania. Are they able to contain him? Are they able to limit the three-point looks? Zagar has been, uh, Koreks obviously here knocking down these threes. Zagar's and Koreks have been an outstanding combination. Yeah, that's, that's why they've been able to survive without Daris uh, Bertans. Well, they've missed him for sure, but I think, as we've said, the coming out party for Zagars has been really impressive. Well, of course, anybody that has watched Latvia basketball will know that he played well for the youth teams, especially at the under-18 European Championship back in 2018. Led them to the final. Was their leading scorer in that game, and really was just a huge talent. But, you know, five years later, here he is at the FIBA Basketball World Cup making it happen. So 49-38, Latvia on top of Lithuania at halftime in the Baltic battle. Valanchunas. Trying to get it done.
There he is. I told you he kept asking for those fouls. Sometimes the bigs, maybe they don't get the calls. They think, uh, well, they can handle it. Yeah, the bigger, more physical players are hammered all the time. And in some ways, it's similar. We saw earlier with Luka Doncic. There, every play, there's contact. But I've been impressed. The physical advantage of Lithuania was neutralized in the first half. Let's see if they can turn it around here in a second. But Jeff, the three-point numbers are key. The game has just not come easy for Lithuania. Without that three-point shooting, you see one for 10. Yeah, compare that to the nine of nine start uh, against the United States in the last game of the second round. That's quite a comparison, isn't it? Well, they've done it before. Remember, against Greece, they were really struggling to score in the first half. It wasn't coming easy, similar to this. And then it was a seven for seven. But the key there was posting up their wings and the post reaction to get the three-point shots. Let's see if they go back to that strategy in the second half. Of course, Lithuania also missing some key three-point shooters. Bengius Karanauskas also made some big plays for their team at different times throughout this World Cup. Yeah, I think that hurts them because especially uh, Karanauskas is a real energy player. And he's one of the guys that they chose to post up who could play out of the post from a, a guard or wing position, which is a really big advantage for an offense. One of the interesting uh, things about this World Cup, when you consider, you know, some of the achievements, you know, Gigi Datome, excuse me, in the Italy uh, Slovenia game, Doncic getting to 200 points, joining some a lot of illustrious names, uh, players that have scored 200 points at the FIFA Basketball World Cup, and um, there's also uh, a certain assist record that that somebody is chasing tonight, Artur Zagars, trying to surpass the 15 assists of Tony Kukoc uh, that he had back in 1994. First defense we had, if they fit the post, okay? Gradually do your best to front the post before you catch the ball. Do your best to front him. Okay, make him use the elbow, show the contact, and use the hips to push him down. Rollouts, cheat the beat. Okay. So there's Chip oh. again. Oh, have we seen him with the basketball, or have I been just missing that? That's the first time I've seen him have a ball. That, that's a playmaker right there, Jeff. <laughs> it's interesting how the basket's on his back. So one thing about that assist record, so assists started being collect, uh, counted at the World Cup in 1994, or at least catalog, going back to the FIBA stats. And uh, Carlick Jones also equaled Tony Kukoc's 15 uh, in, in their game against Angola in their last game, in the classification round game. Jeff, what a World Cup Carlick Jones had scoring, and assisting and playmaking. And let's see if Jagars can notch five more assists and set a record. And 
case you're wondering, Tony Kukoc got his 15 assists against China in 1994. So, good move from Sedekarskis, left it short. They try to post the four on the first possession. Gradualis, or excuse me, Zagars, and that should have been another assist. But I'm impressed by, by Zagars. Here's Brasdakis. We've been impressed by him as well. Nowhere to go. Good job, Kuruks. And it looks like Brasdakis has hurt his knee. Jokobaitis is hustling back down to see him as well as Zagars. And I don't know if it was Zagars that made contact with him. But that's the last thing you want to see is anybody get injured in a game like this. Oh, it was the way he landed. I think that's going to be the last that we see of Brasdakis tonight. Let's hope it's just a hyperextension. It looked like it. And Brasdakis obviously. You know, you're playing for fifth place. You know, you got rankings points and national pride, but. Lithuania already without a couple of players, and he's the good news is he's walking off. Hopefully, hopefully he can come back, but we'll see what happens. Didn't look good when he landed, did it? No, you know, these players take such good care of themselves. They're in hands of strength and conditioning coaches that really spend a lot of time with them. You see all the agilities and everything they do before the game, so. If there's anyone that are prepared for those type of situations, it's the team, the players. But you want to see everyone come out of here healthy. Kuruks back to Gradualis for three. That's good. Look out. The Emperor is stirring. Again, Latvia's five out shooting from all five spots is a tough matchup with Valanciunas on the floor. Jokovitis. Schmidt swoops in for the rebound. Post touch, post reaction, great look. They've just got to take the lid off the basket from three. Arthur's Kuruks again. That's number four for him tonight. So he's equaled his tournament high, and the lead has ballooned to 17 points. Amazing. And now look at Gradualist challenging. So he picks up a foul for that. And he's, I mean, it's a great block. There's definitely contact with the arm and the body. Meanwhile, Brasdakis continues to get treatment. He's got ice on his knee right now. And this time, Valanciunas turns, the double teams come, comes, and Arturs Kuruks is a whistle for a foul on Valanciunas, which, again, going back to earlier, <laughs> Valanciunas wasn't scoring without asking also for a foul, so it kind of makes you wonder. Well, there's clearly a foul here on Kuruks, but, you know, the, the main point is the undersized Latvian team is really working hard to get into Valanciunas' body and not let him get position. When the ball comes in the post, they're doubling him. And unfortunately for Lithuania today, they are not making any three-point shots to loosen it up. The game can change quickly with this three-point shooting that we've seen in the tournament, but for now, the Lithuania team's offense is a little bit flat. A faster beat of the drum for the Latvia fans than the Lithuania fans. There's Gradualis for three. Oh my goodness. He has got 12 points. So again, Jeff, it's a pick and pop. Gradualis stays at the top. Valentunis is trapped in the paint. They can't get back out on the pop. You see him extended to three. Gradualis. 
who finished so well against switches at the rim in recent games, now burying big threes. Well, he was practicing his threes right in the shoot around before the second half. Yeah, the three-point shot, Mike, has been huge. Nine of 18 for Latvia, just one of 11 for Lithuania. It goes like that sometimes. I don't know if there's uh, anything that Latvia are doing well, that's the, making Lithuania miss. It's the ball movement that Latvia is playing with and Lithuania is missing right now. For example, Jeff, in the game, Latvia has 19 assists compared to seven for Lithuania. There's Kuruks, another three. And it could be that the Latvian fans are going to be the happy ones going back if they can pull one over on their Baltic brothers. Because right now, they are in command of 22 points. Kuruks again, not this time. Heat check. Jokovitis. Oh, look at Kuruks. He scored, I think, despite a grab of his jersey by Jokovitis. And the lead is now 24 points. And anybody that had any questions about which direction this Latvia team was headed, well, they don't need to question that anymore. Because uh, even in the classification round, they continue to play hard. And that is something else. Jeff, just an impressive performance here by Latvia. Well, Artus Kuruks has been on fire tonight. Four three-pointers, 17 points. Take your pick. Take your pick of the guards. Which one are you going to take? Man, Artus Kuruks is playing like Andreas Holst in the zone. The funny thing is, uh, during the timeout, the Latvian TV uh, Commentator came over and consoled the Lithuanian commentators. They weren't they weren't too happy with the uh, message. Yeah, there is a good drive down low. There's some Baltic brotherly trash talk yes, taking place in the Tribune. That's the best way to put it, I think. Well, maybe there's Moe's cookies uh, that have been bet on this result. That pass intended for Zagars. Better offensive possession last time. Lithuania got to the second side of the play.
Kuruks again. That is number five on the night. And you could just see it's just really hard right now for this Lithuanian team to create a good shot. It's so easy for Latvia. Offensive foul called on Motiunas trying to establish position. And just the Latvia, Latvia chants get louder and louder. Gurus gets it down low. And Jeff, that's just too easy for this team that plays with so much pride. A curl and a finish at the rim. Jokobitis takes the bump. So this possession for Lithuania was a side dribble for Jakobaitis, no passes, they were disorganized, and he goes into a shot. They have played so much better prior to tonight. Just a little disjointed with their execution, this proud Lithuanian team. And Jeff, as much as we love what Jakobaitis is doing, pressure in the rim and making plays, you know, you compare the assist numbers for the point guards, Rockas has one assist compared to Jagars, who has 13. Two assists away from equaling the record held by Tony Kukoc and Karlik Jones. Jagars, the pass. Another assist for Jagars. Boy, what a performance. So again, you can see the adjustments from Lithuania. They're now switching pick and rolls and the Latvia attack goes into attacking the guard in the post. You see the switch. Great pass there and finish. One assist away from equaling the record. Jokobite is missing. Maldunas not able to get the drop. Gabas. And here comes Rodion Kuruks. Kuruk spins, turns. Oh, everything is going their way. Another turnover. Just too much one-on-one, -on -one, too much individual from this Lithuania team who usually have so much system discipline. Zagar steps back for three. Look at the hustle from Kuruks. Wow, just sensational. The determination from Latvia. Jeff, with three minutes and eight seconds to go in the third quarter, Latvia, again, just outworking them, drawing fouls here. They're winning this quarter 23 to four. That was a great hustle play by Kuruks. Yeah. So Kuruks gets his fourth assist with that made free throw by Schmitz. And Kazis Maxvitas, it's kind of a strange one, isn't it? 
Uh, you you always want to play. You always want to win. It's a World Cup game. It's a national team game. You're, you're playing your biggest rival. Yet you know this is where it stops. You're either going to be fifth or sixth. Servita's missing. He gets it back. Finally. Dempsha chasing the ball. Goes out of bounds. They blow the whistle. This is, this is too big for the reaction. I don't want any kind of problem on this game. Are we good? It's nothing, guys. It's nothing. Don't do. Be the play where Jagars equals the record of 15 assists in a World Cup game. Oh, that would have been a great way to get it. And are they going to the line? Look at this. Somebody must have told him. Anyway, he's called for the charge. Also, no, they do keep it, and they call the foul on Maldunas. <laughs> that would have been fantastic to equal the record with the behind-the-back pass. Somebody told him. Jagars is so crafty, but again, the whole issue for this game for Lithuania has been their defense's inability to contain him. He is getting wherever he wants going wherever he wants with the dribble that time right to the rim well we're gonna have to uh, be held in suspense because Jagars is coming out of the game with Zorix coming in uh, great work Maldunas almost coming up with a steal oh they get it down low Strallens goes up and misses but is fouled You know, sometimes in sports you have a difficult day. You can't really explain it. But, Jeff, the ball has bounced Latvia's way on several occasions. Here's one. Shot clock's running down. Scramble play. Foul. And, you know, we're still two minutes away from the fourth quarter, but this... Lithuania team <laughs> played so well in this World Cup. They started so strong. Won games, upset the United States, battled against Serbia, and then in this classification game have not represented themselves the way we're accustomed to with a team of this quality. Servetus puts it up from deep. They battle. And Lavia. Pass up ahead to Kuruk. Back outside to Zorix. Mike, we've seen so many good things from Lithuania in this FIBA Basketball World Cup. It's uh, hard to it's hard to think that this would not have been a successful World Cup for them. I mean, that, you know do go back to the classification games, but it just illustrates how you do want to win that last day. You don't want to leave. It puts with a, a positive loss. finish to your World Cup experience. It's like a varnish. Now, the difference here is in the pregame expectations. Lithuania has expectations you know, to win, and if they lose, then it's, it's you know, a bad thing, it's failure. They're gonna hear about it. Latvia is overachieving, everything's positive. They, if they lose, oh, you just lost to Lithuania, that's expected. But as we know, you have to play the game on the court. Kuroks was going for another three, but was off target.
Aramata steps back. Sedekarskis goes up. He wanted a foul, none was called. Next assault, the defender's hands were lowered. Well, the Lithuanian fans, they can hardly believe it. Jeff, I can't hardly believe it. This team has been so solid. So Jagars checks back in with 6.7 seconds. Could it be? Oh, good defense from Montes. Look at the hustle. Wow, they called the foul on Normantas. I would like I'm to listening. see that again. I'm listening. I'm listening. Oh, first time that cylinder, she didn't go, and now she called up with the five. Okay. We are losing minus 30, and she called okay, up can you, can you? No, no, she's not doing anything for us. We are broken. Why you are giving her to look on the game like this? I'm just a referee. I'm just a referee. I don't know. But... I hear I, I got your point. I got your point. Jagars misses the free throw. I mean, he, we even heard Max Vita say that we're down 30 and she's making that call. Well, it was hard to understand because it looked like Normantis had the steal and had possession. I would like to see that play again on replay. Well, I don't think we will. Maybe later. That's it at the end of the third quarter. And uh, it was not a good one for Lithuania. They have gone off the rails with Latvia, outscoring them 28 to 9 to take a 77 47 lead. So, Jeff, two numbers to look at three point shooting, 11 for 24 compared to two for 18, and ball movement, 27 assists for Latvia compared to nine for Lithuania. 35 rebounds to 29. Latvia also out rebounding Lithuania. Look at the ball movement here. Great consecutive pass. Lots of positive energy from the Latvia bench. Again, pick and roll. Stretching out Valanciunas. Gradualis with a big three. And that's a common sight that we're seeing tonight. The Latvian fans. Nice empty side play here to Monte Yunus. What do you think is the, the lesson that, that we can learn from Latvia's performance at the World Cup this year? I think that you stick to your identity and you play your way, play to your strengths. They have an undersized lineup but if teams switch pick and rolls, you've got to have a counter. And here's our friend, Jip. Well, Jip just doesn't disappoint. He's always coming up with information. You can scan in the barcode to get the FIBA Basketball World Cup app in your smartphone. But or, Jeff. Yeah, news, videos. Re we can read the experts piece that you yeah, timed in on today. Yeah, and I appreciate that. It's lots of good, healthy exchange. You and Will Voigt, opinions. Mark yes. Clark, yep. Shona Thorburn, all commentators. Jit knows who you are now. That makes me very happy. That should make you scared. It makes me happy. <laughs> but Jeff, Lithuania knows teams will try to switch pick and rolls against their shooting. So you've got to have a counter. And Gradualis has been fantastic. Posting up, finishing plays in the oh. switch. But even here, Jeff, look at this. Bertans, unbelievable. It's a loose ball scramble, and the ball bounces to Bertans with Lithuania hustling all over the place. Amazing how the ball is bouncing today. But take nothing away from Latvia. They, they've worked hard. Dimsha for three.
Zurich. You, I mean, it's 83-47. Uh, but it, Jeff, it's the scramble that has let Lithuania down today. That time, on the pick and pop of the five, Jakobaitis rotated, but there was no one rotating with him. So basically, if you're Lithuania and you're being attacked with a pick and pop, as you see, offensive foul called here on Valanciunas. You can have your five-man recover to his own, or you can rotate from your help side. And now they've started to rotate off the back side, but it's got to be a team rotation. 2-3 zone defense. Good recovery, good help. Scaly. Valentunas. This lobby team's locked in. Demsha, that's a nice play, and they call the foul on Gradulus. But Jeff. Look how hard it is for Lithuania to score. They have to try to get everything at the rim. They just have not loosened the defense up with three-point shooting. And when you talk the beginning of the game of winning the matchup battle, the size and physicality from the Lithuania front court with Valanciunas or the three-point shooting from Latvia, this has clearly been a decisive advantage for Latvia. They have won that matchup. Zorix from downtown. Say so there's a very good bet. Latvia are going to break the century mark, and uh, my goodness, 36 point lead. Kazmiskis open. They follow. Valanciunas catches it and goes up. He is telling everybody to get their hands up on defense. Skele, that looks good. It is. 15 for 28 from three-point range. Gradualist coming back in. Five, excuse me, Gradualist going out. He's got five fouls. The Emperor. He, he has 12 points. All smiles on the on the uh, Latvia bench. Uh, Pesechniks. Trying to defend against Valanciunas. So again, uh, foul call. Don't forget. Razdakis on the bench after what looked like a hyper extension of the knee. He's being iced up, so he's clearly not coming back. No vengeance, no Karanowskis who's watching back at the hotel. Oh, and Kuzminskis comes out and guards and commits the foul. Notice because Minskis didn't go and help him up. Because I would be hoping for too much. 
Troutinch. Wow. Wow, that was a great play by Seti Karaskis. Looked like it was going down. He's going to drop in. Valentunas beat set. Jeff, two for 21. Chagar is coming back in, perhaps to make history. To go for the assist record, although he may not know it. Troughton missing from deep. I don't know about you, but that's the most exciting thing for me at this stage. Is he going to get the record? Without a doubt. Zorix, they passed the Skele. So the Karaskis now brings it forward. Dimsha, high arcing three, that drops. Lithuania back man to man. Good job, Seti Karaskis. Great effort, the last few possessions from Seti Karaskis on the defensive side. Yeah, Demcho would rather that they not blow the whistle. Well, that was good effort from Seti Karaskis. So Jokovitis and Kuzmitsis go out. Romantis comes back in. Now, if you're Luka Banke and you know your player is one assist away from tying the record and two assists from breaking it, call some pick and roll plays for Jagars at the other end. There's the basket. Damn sure. I don't think he knows. You think anybody told him? Yeah. I'm sure that information got to him, and I'm sure he's trying to set it up. That's why I put it back in. Be just yet another thing for Latvia to hang their hat on from this World Cup. There it is. He's equaled it, folks. And he knows. Look at him. He is smiling. Beautiful pocket pass. 15 assists in this game. He is equal Tony Kukoc. And. But Jeff, he should go for 20. Dimcha buries it. Here's Jagars again. Look, he makes another pass. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I didn't think they would know. Look at the bounce pass. Oh, he gets rejected by Valentunas. <laughs> they but, definitely know. Again, you can see the beautiful pick and roll passing, the rhythm, outstanding point guard play from Jagars. And Jeff, what about the block from Valentunas there? Fantastic recovery. Let's don't. They're going to review for it unsportsmanlike here. I like body in transition. Just give me the, the, the camera number one, normal speed, please. Can you go back? Yeah, let's give me. Let's wait. Can we have. Let's try this camera and play on. Let's see. Go, 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 go in front, go in front, go in front, go in front, go in front. Go in front. Okay, go back. No. Uh, it can be this one. Look, this one. Five, hand the right. Go. Ah, this one. So he's not. So the ball is on the right, on the on the left hand, and the contact is on the right. Yeah. So this is met the criteria for the sportsman-like foul. So we will upgrade from normal foul to a sportsman-like foul. So go back. 33 is the shooter. 32 is the, the the guy who made the foul. The clock is okay. 32 is UF. Yeah. We upgrade.
That's what kind of night it is for Lithuania right there, Jeff. Unsportsmanlike foul. Step to the free throw line, it rims out. Thirty-six percent from the floor, seventeen percent from three, fifty-six percent from the line for this outstanding shooting team. Three and a half minutes remaining. There's Demcha and Zagars with the basketball. Let's see if he makes history with this. The World Cup record: sixteen assists in a single game. Hands it off. He's got the record, and he knows it. And look at Porzingis, he knows it, and everybody knows it over there on that lobby bench. And Jeff, he's making his teammates better, putting it on a plate for Prasechniks. That sense assist were the assist the stat was kept starting in 1994. Pass and Kuruks. He's looked really good tonight, Kuruks. Well, it's no longer the future is bright for Latvia, it's the present. This is a team that is going places, to put it quite simply. They have, they've had an outstanding World Cup. I would not put qualifying for the, for the Olympics beyond them, the way they've played. Obviously, they're in a good moment. They're going to have to win an Olympic qualifying tournament. I'm guessing they'll try to, I don't know, maybe they'll host one. How does then their, again, they'll, they'll be hosting games for the Eurobasket, won't they? How does their team change with Porzingis? Exactly. Think about that. Well, how does Serbia's team change, change with Jokic? They're in the final. Well, the, these are the things that all these countries have to think about. You know, coaches, staffs, management will also, federations, consider all of these options. I mean, clearly, Porzingis wanted to play, and he stayed with the team the whole time. It's the injury that kept him out. Pasechnik has it. Tries to make the pass down low. turns and it's a uh, now the question is will Latvia get to a hundred and also will there be any more assists for this man gets it to Pasechniks Jokobitis Boy, just not falling. 23 for 67 from the floor, 34% for Lithuania. And the basket is good. They've got 98. Servita serves up another triple. Zygars driving, tries to make the bounce pass, gets it back. Hands it off to Kuruks, he goes up, gets it back, puts it up, and they miss. Set of Kerskis. And I would assume this will be the last possession for either team the last attempt to score. That's going to be it. What a game for Latvia. What a way to sign off from the FIBA Basketball World Cup, a rout of their Baltic brethren, Lithuania. And in the process, 
Arturs Chagars sets the all-time World Cup assist record uh, since those, that stat was uh, started being kept back in 1994. He got 16 assists. Latvia win it 98 to 63. Oh, so in the end, he got 17 assists. So one, another was given to him. About the skip pass to the corner three. Okay. So, been a good World Cup for that, for that man right there. 17 assists, the new World Cup record. Arturs Chagars, and I guess the Latvians know, but I think more than anything, they just uh, just revved them up a little more. I mean. They didn't play badly against Germany either, did they, in the quarterfinal? No, so. they, they played really well. Again, they have their identity. They play to their identity. Really great job from Coach Luka Banki and the team. Take nothing away from Lithuania. You know, they had a good FIBA Basketball World Cup. I guess the heartbreak that they suffered against Serbia was uh, a tough, a that was really a tough pill to swallow. Try to bring as many cliches out as possible. Yeah, you can see the numbers here again. The three-point shooting, the big difference. 16 makes compared to five. Really outproducing Lithuania. But also out-rebounding. And you can see the ball movement. 34 assists to 11 assists. Only three turnovers with 34 assists. I mean, that is outstanding playmaking. And again, the point. Lithuania struggled to contain the guards and ball handlers. You see Kuritz with his good 20-point game. Smith, 17. Grajlis, 12 before fouling out. Jakobaita, 16. Valentinus, 15. Well, Arturs Kuritz. Arturs Kuritz. Kuritz on another night. Oh. So. So it's uh, Kuritz has gotten the TCL MVP. Well, that's just another assist from Jagars. Jagars giving the trophy to his teammate. That's there. awesome. That's awesome. That's that says it all about Latvia, doesn't it? It sure does. So it was actually supposed to be Jagars, and he said, "No, nope, I'm going to give it to to Archer's Kurex. Kurex. Very so, unselfish. Team first. That's unbelievable. Isn't yeah, it? they've been fantastic here at this tournament. Very impressive. I think they wanted to do that just so they could write and have another story written about how unselfish they are. Ha. Well, they deserve it, Jeff. They've been they've been excellent. Well, it's just been a, a, a wonderful night for Latvia, a tough night for Lithuania. You never like to lose your last game. But an exceptional tournament for Luka Banki. Who, who knew who knew this was gonna happen for Lafia? No. They appointed him. No, you you could see experienced coach and really good work in other places. But what they have done and how they have developed and grown over the last several years is very impressive and they've been on full display here at this World Cup tournament. Outstanding run, outstanding job, and what a great story for Latvia basketball. Mike, do you think if there had been something of uh, tangible up tonight, like an OQT berth or a spot on the podium, that that that, Lot that Lithuania would have put in a different performance? Yeah, it's it's hard to explain how flat Lithuania was. They've been so great in this tournament. You know, I, mean, I just think they ran out of gas emotionally. They played back-to-back -back games against the USA and won, and then fell short from Serbia. But I love the Latvian team, been so impressed with them. Just hard to watch these guys in tonight's performance. 89-85, Slovenia winning it over Italy, and Latvia 98-63 over Lithuania. So Latvia finished fifth, Slovenia finished seventh, 
And it was a hard night to watch Lithuania, as you said. Uh, but for Latvia, well, the promise of the present is there for all to see. It has been an incredible night for them, an incredible FIBA Basketball World Cup. They will sail home or fly home in a very good mood.